What's up everyone? It's me, Zombie, and today I am going to introduce you to my new robot son, the Neva 3D printer by Dagoma. Ben, who is a representative of Dagoma, reached out to me and offered to send me a 3D printer just to try out. Since 3D printing is something that I really wanted to get into and try more often this year, of course, I enthusiastically said yes, please send me this 3D printer. I would love to try it out. I'd love to make some cool stuff with it. So that is exactly what we're doing today. And I figured this was the perfect opportunity to dive into the magical world of 3D printing. Ben even went out of his way to show me some examples of the props and costume pieces that makers have created using the Neva printer. And seeing what they made piqued my interest. It looks like people have made some really cool stuff using this. But I was also nervous because running into problems with 3D printers is kind of a normal thing from what I've gathered from the cosplay community. And not being extremely technically savvy, I was a bit nervous to run into any problems with this brand new printer. I've had this sweet boy for a few weeks and I've had time to explore all of its features and figure out what this printer is all about. Before receiving the printer, I already had Kylo Ren's lightsaber in mind. One, because Kylo Ren has an awesome lightsaber and I wanted it. And two, it has a lot of little tricky details on it that I wanted to see if this printer could handle. The printer starts at $4.99 USD, but at the time of making this video, it's actually on sale for $2.99, which is fantastic. The Neva's printing surface is seven inches in diameter and eight inches in height, which is about 18 centimeters by 20 centimeters. The Neva is made from 50% 3D printed parts. Yet, I found this printer is robust and puts up with Solaire climbing on the printing bed and trying to climb up the side of it, which is pretty impressive. Setting up the Neva took about five minutes. It arrived completely assembled and I was able to attach these neato magnetic arms to the frame and to the extruder. I plugged in the power adapter and let it automatically calibrate. Inserted the filament and that's it. Like it's actually ready to print already. This printer has one button and it does everything. It can start, stop, and pause the print. I got some gray Poly Plus PLA for this printer. This PLA is eco-friendly and it came in some spiffy packaging. The only downside of the filament is that I found it got easily tangled without a spool holder. The printer comes with this handy dandy manual. But Dagoma also has some really great video tutorials on their website if you're kind of a video tutorial kind of person like I am. But I found that both sources were really easy to follow when setting up the printer. The software that you use with it is super simple. You just download it from the Dagoma website. The Neva uses the Cura by Dagoma software and it is so easy. I was able to open it right away and it was ready for me to import whatever I wanted to print. It figures out all the support material for you and all you have to do is enter what kind of PLA you're using and then hit the prepare print button. It also comes with this SD card so you just plug it into your computer and then when you hit prepare print in Cura it automatically saves to the SD card and it's ready to use. Hello lady human, 3D print me a new person please, I am bored of you. I was really expecting to have to learn this 3D printer software and really get educated on it, maybe watch some tutorials. I found the interface was really simple and intuitive and I really didn't need any directions. Everything was really straightforward and I was honestly surprised because I was already prepared to have to learn some new software. But for this being new software, I was comfortable with using it right away, which for me doesn't happen very often. If you're a newbie like me and didn't know before, a Benchy or a Benchmark is a model that you can print to kind of test and see how good your printer's print quality is. I didn't mess with any settings in Cura, and this is how the Benchy turned out. I think the printer did a great job with all those details. And yeah, no mess ups, nothing it screwed up. Seal of approval. It got a seal of approval from Adam. And if you wanted a higher quality, you could definitely adjust the print time and the quality settings in Cura. It's super easy. After that was done, I decided to start printing my Kylo Ren parts. That sounded weird. Kylo Ren lightsaber parts. There you go. It was as simple as exporting the model to my SD card and pressing the big glowy button. But on the third piece, I ran into an issue. The printer doesn't come with a filament holder or spool holder, which 
I was pretty surprised by just because I've seen other printers come with spool holders, especially because the spool really got tangled up on itself really quickly and I really had to babysit my first few prints. I had this wood mannequin head holder that I decided to use for my filament. I hoped it would be good enough to use it permanently, but it ended up not working out so great. The filament did get tangled. As bummed as I was about it not coming with its own spool holder, it's a gosh dang 3D printer. You can go and print yourself a spool holder. Dagoma actually made a couple models and put them up on Thingiverse for a couple different kind of spool holders. So one of the first things you can print on this thing is a spool holder because that's gonna be super handy for you. And that's the really cool thing about 3D printers like this. You can just print your own accessories and parts for it. So you can pretty much just maintenance it and upgrade it yourself as you continue your 3D printing journey, which is super cool. And I was able to print all of Kylo Ren's lightsaber parts. I downloaded this model from Thingiverse and without messing with any settings on the Neva, I just let it print away and it created all of these amazing little pieces. I can't wait to finish this prop. It looks so cool so far. And I was also really impressed with the print quality, how it was able to handle all those weird little details that are on his lightsaber. As with any 3D printed prop, these are gonna take some finishing work, but they're well on their way to turning into a really awesome prop. And I'm so excited about being able to finish up this cool 3D printed prop and being able to add it to my collection. I think it's gonna look awesome when it's done. Overall, I'm really impressed with the Neva, even though I haven't messed with any extra settings on the printer yet. I'm surprised at the reasonable price, the print quality, and the easy accessibility for 3D printing newbies such as myself. Even using their software was extremely painless and gave me the confidence to start working with a 3D printer on a regular basis. And take a look at these pieces! I love how they turned out. I was expecting to run into way more issues with it being my first 3D printer with not being that familiar with 3D printing software. I was expecting pretty much to run into an issue at every turn and have to do research and really have to learn how to use this thing because it's, if you think about it, it's a pretty cool piece of technology. It spits out little prop pieces. It's like magic. That has to take some expertise, right? You just import a file, you press a button, and it does its thing. It's super easy. I really did feel like some kind of cosplay witch when I just press the button and it spat out a part of a prop. It was amazing. Don't tell the church. I can't wait to use this printer more to help hone my 3D printing skills and get me more comfortable with 3D modeling. If you'd like to check out all of the filament options or if you'd just like to see more information about the printer, check out Dagoma's website and you can let them know that I sent you by clicking the little link that I have down below that will take you right to their website. And right now, the Neva is on sale for $2.99, which is a heckin' good deal. I've also found that their customer service is outstanding. If you have any questions about the printer, they'll get back to you really quick and antsy questions are super helpful. I want to know what y'all think and I also want to know what you guys would like to see me print next. And of course, thank you Dagoma for letting me try out your printer. I've had a lot of fun with it. This week's featured makers include Alex Cosplay from Instagram. He made this super cool Genji costume and it lights up. It looks awesome, it looks so clean, amazing job. I can't wait to see it all done, it's gonna look awesome. Siren's cosplay showed me a super cool picture of her in and out of cosplay. She's a police officer that cosplays, that's pretty cool. If you wanna be a featured maker of the week, all you gotta do is choose your favorite social media of choice and show me what you're making, seeing what you guys create, really makes my day and I just want to show off y'all's work because it is so awesome. So thank you in advance for showing me what you're doing. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you again next time. Bye everyone!